Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a full dinner routine from start to finish. You'll see everything that I feed Leela. Um, I'll also include prices for everything. I have the invoice to share with you. And I also have a special treat I'll be giving her after dinner. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you want to learn how to feed your dog raw, this is the video for you. Enjoy! I wanted to share the invoice with you for some of the items that I purchased for Leela so that you guys can get an idea of some pricing. So I did order her some um, dehydrated bully sticks. Those are the most expensive items on this, um, on this invoice. So they were $47.99 and it's a six pack of 12 inch um, bully sticks. That's obviously not something you need to do. Uh, it's more of like a recreational thing that I give her as a treat. Um, and the rest of the things are things that I actually use um, up in uh, her meals. So the first thing are duck feet that I ordered for her. Um, duck feet were two for $13.98. Sorry, duck feet are an excellent source of naturally occurring glucosamine. Um, so they keep uh, the health of the cartilage, which is the rubbery tissue that cushions the bones and joints. Um, so Leela obviously runs a lot, um, does a lot of exercise, so it's really just great for her for her joints. Um, then I have a fruit and vegetable blend, which was $3.99. And then I have quail eggs, which was $11.97. That's for three packs. Each pack has 18 eggs, and she eats about two to three eggs per day. Quail eggs, they promote both bone strength, so they have a lot of calcium in them. Then I have raw goat milk, uh, which was $20.97 for three um, bottles of 490 ml each. And the goat milk also promotes both, uh, bone strength. Um, then I have a super food blend, which is just another mix of fruits and veggies for $5.99. So the total was $104.89. I did get free shipping. And this quantity will last about a month to six weeks. So it's definitely, you know, not... Um, something that'll run out quickly and these are all supplements again you don't need to add these things um, they're just what I like to add okay so the first thing to do is wash her bowl and get her food all set up A chicken and buffalo ground mixture it includes the bone the meat and organs I'm just getting the duck feet out remember the duck feet have a good source of glucosamine which is really great for the dog's joints And then I have the quail eggs. I'm just gonna give her some broccoli that I had made earlier. You can put whatever vegetables you want. Broccoli, spinach, uh, carrots, celery. Now I'm gonna cut up some salmon for her. Now I do have a tip about the salmon is uh, I always freeze fresh salmon and then take it out to defrost and feed it to her once it's defrosted. For some reason she doesn't like fresh salmon from the store. So if you have a picky dog uh, who's picky with fish, try freezing it and then giving it to them after it's been in the freezer and defrosts. Now I'm just adding some goat milk. Goat milk is really good for digestion and is also a good source of calcium. Just adding some rabbit ears as a nice treat for her. Rabbit ears are also good um, for digestion and uh, these ones still have the fur on them and actually the fur is good to help clean out the system as well. 
Okay guys, here's another special treat. I'm giving her a uh, dehydrated duck head. I know it looks kind of freaky, but she really, really likes it. And it's a great source of calcium and phosphorus. Okay guys, so we have the broccoli, duck feet, quail eggs, rabbit ears, chicken and buffalo mix, duck head, and salmon, and the goat milk. And that's her dinner for tonight. All right, let's see if she likes it. Thank you so much for being here guys i hope that um, you found this video enjoyable and that you learned some things please please feel free to comment below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see or any questions you have and please do like and subscribe it'll really help me out and help me grow this channel thank you so much bye